It is time for us to take a look at the forecast. And oh, there we, the we go. Forecast. There we Audio go. Audio more. Is fading in and out. There we go. No, I should be fine now. Okay. There you go. I had to push one button that I had erroneously pushed. Okay. Okay, cool. Good morning, everybody. And, uh, you know, uh, a slight change in the forecast. Yeah. Now, putting I, in some showers tomorrow. I saw that. I said, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, only because the that coastal system will uh, actually sort of send like a backwash uh, this far south. I don't think there's going to be much uh, as far as uh, amounts of showers, less than a quarter inch in the rain bucket. So we'll take what we can get. But today, sun and clouds, 80 to 85, partly cloudy, 60 to night, scattered showers tomorrow, 65 to 70. So it doesn't get warm because it's cloudy all day. Back to sun and clouds Thursday, 80, partly sunny, 85 to 90 Friday and the weekend. Partly sunny, 85 to 90, with moderate levels of humidity, both Saturday and Sunday, and I don't expect any rain over the weekend. Uh, is the humidity coming back anytime? Yeah, moderate humidity. Okay, moderate, okay. Moderate. That would be over the weekend. Well, I think people can live with moderate. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot better than it was uh, last week. So it, it was very refreshing when I walked out the door this morning. Yeah, well, should be. Should be. I mean, tomorrow may be a little on the humid side, but you're not going to notice it because uh, of the uh, cooler temperatures because of the clouds and showers. All right. Now, I have to I have to bring something up to you real quick. Okay. I uh, had the monitor on here. And uh, certain weather experts are predicting, listen to this, by 2025, 75% of the United States will have heat indexes of 102 to 106 degrees. Okay. This is for 2025. And your question? <laughs> what, what do you think about a prediction like that for 2025 uh, put up as news? We can predict seven days out how could we pre predict what's going to happen three years from now? That's my response. Yeah, absolutely true. That's yeah, that's what I was saying. No. Now, I mean, there's certain long-term trends that you can predict, but to 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 get that specific, yeah, no. And I just don't know how you can do it. I don't know either. And it's and that see to me, it's things like that. That affect the credibility of people watching news on TV. I totally agree. You know, because everybody's thinking the same thing. Gosh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to get for dinner tomorrow. Never mind someone telling me that the heat index is going to be over 102 degrees in 75 percent of the United States by 2025. And right, and that, let's and let's keep let's keep this all in mind that. Um, <laughs> uh, Well, how, how do I want to phrase this? Years ago, many, many years ago, the weather started turning very, very, very cold. And the thinking was, quote, the ice age is coming. Then, after a couple of years of back-to-back -back cold winters and snow, it started getting warmer and warmer and warmer. They started talking about global warming, and that was shoot. Shoo shoo. Now, there's evidence all across the earth that not only is it getting warmer, but it's even getting drier. Uh, so everybody is in, uh, in the, I guess, in the same ballpark right now, believing that this is going to be the trend. Um, so if you take today and extrapolate it three years out, of course you're going to say it's warmer. But what happens if in three years? It's severely cold, and mm. that and and that could happen. You know, weather balances out. I mean, generally speaking, the trend is warmer, but there could be s small little bubbles uh, in the trend that would bring real cold and real snowy winters. Such may be the case this winter. And then, 
We'll see what all the experts have to say. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's, it's not a good thing for the, uh, for you know, with people's distrust of of network news now, uh, to, to to run stuff like that. You wanna, you wanna put it in a special segment, called the uh, long range scientific out, uh, outlook. You know, I mean, separate it from the news though. Don't put it on in regular news. That's the whole thing. I just, you know, I just don't yeah. understand. I agree, but look what's going on now. The Rhine, uh, the Danube. Do you realize how low those rivers are getting? Yeah. They may be banning cruises because the rivers are so low. Well, so like we were talking about the Thames in London. Yeah. It could it actually it actually could go dry. Not good. Just not good. Now that's, that, that, that's but, just, you see, that's different, though. That's things that are happening now. Now. <clears throat> Uh, it's not saying what's going to happen in 2025. Right. Well, I mean, if you take that right now uh, and extrapolate, I could say, Marshall, in 2025, Lake Erie's going to dry up. <laughs> and you say, how would you know that? Well, based on what's happening now, if that continues, give it three years and that and, and that whole lake will be dry, which makes a lot of sense. But... Does it mean it's it's going to happen? No. No. And, you know, you know as well as I do, things have a tendency of balancing out in weather. And right now it may be, uh, let's say, super dry in the Pacific Northwest and hot, which it is. I guarantee you this winter, it'll be the opposite. You watch. <laughs> yeah, you watch. Uh, but meanwhile, so um, so that was that. I thought it was a great day yesterday. Wasn't it beautiful? It really was. I actually spent a little time out on my deck yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be the same today. So, uh, are you cooking outside or no? no well, I no, and for one reason, is uh, I can grill inside just as well with my uh, with, with my uh, grill pans, and also. If you have to thoroughly clean the grill, I mean thoroughly after you're done, because with theirs, if you wait, oh, I'll, I'll clean it tomorrow, you're going to have the smell and the fat of what you just grilled, right. and the bears will come looking for it. They'll smell it and they'll come looking for it. Gotcha, so right. you know, so you really have to be very it, extra, so it's, extra, extra. It's not when you grill when you grill with bears around. Not only do you have the long prep, you know, you get everything set, then you grill. But then when you're done and you finish eating, the last thing in the world you want to do is have to, you know, clean that grill after it's, it's it just, you know, so it's spotless. So it's definitely easier cooking inside. Yeah, especially if you've got, I've got some incredible grill pans. And, I, you know, I can grill in one of my uh, um, um, air fry ovens. Setting on the grill function. Right. And I'm only one person, so I don't have to grill a lot. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Marshall. I just, you know, I just, it's just, you know, I mean, I've got the grill out there. And I guess if I ever have a bunch of people over the house, which I doubt, uh, you know, you can always grill some hamburgers and then quickly. But no, I, 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 I can do everything I need to do. And I got, I've got uh, the oven, okay. Uh, the hot air fry oven, little oven. I've got a pizza oven inside. Uh, I have a gas range that you can grill on and broil in. And the gas range also has a, a fan in it, so it becomes like an air fryer. So, wow. So, so why do I have to go out, set, yeah. why, why do I have to go out in the great wild? <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I hear you. You're set. <laughs> I am. I, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, and uh, if I I even have a, a Vitamix blender, if I want to make soups from scratch, like tomato soup, potato soup, pea soup, I can make it right in the Vitamix blender for for one one person. Yeah, and you know that would be that would be the best way to go because you know it is uh, everything is so expensive. Right yeah, now. six minutes and the soup it says the Vitamix you run it for six minutes at high speed with fresh ingredients and you've got hot soup. Yeah. And, and and it's only for you know 
small portions so you don't have to have it sitting around in the oven and in the in the in the refrigerator. Well, enough about my eating habits. Huh. Enough about my eating habits. Yeah. So uh, okay, yeah. um, there we go with that. And uh, in the meantime, I am going ahead with our uh, small little meeting up at the lake this Saturday at my cabin. I will send out for pizza. I'm inviting just the main people that uh, after those, and then I will drop the bomb, so to speak. That this is it. I'm going to tell them, you know, I'm pretty confident that this will be our last movie we're making. If they ask why, I have many reasons. And then I'll tell them that next year we're doing a, compila a, comp a compilation of the last 10 years. And we'll have one musical number uh, that we'll do next year. And then after that, it'll be a contest every year. And I'm sure they'll say, well... Could you change your mind? Yeah, I could change my mind, but right now it does not seem like that would be the case. Hey, I mean, yeah. the you know what, Marshall? Again, it's not just the fact that I'm tired. It's the fact that I'm, I just don't want to beg people. I don't feel I have to beg people. Yeah. You know, I'm tired of it. And then I have to worry about not only getting the people to do it, then I have to worry about when they can't make it and when they can make it. You know, and uh, it's... It's called stress, Marshall. <laughs> Unnecessary stress. Oh, use the key word there. Unnecessary stress. All right, by the way, Marshall, I have a Lenovo um, uh, laptop. Yeah. Ever since I have it, the sound is extremely low. I tried yesterday, I called Lenovo. They put me on hold. 45 minutes, I hung up. I updated my sound card. I went through everything, even in Windows, with the sound. I make sure everything is at a hundred percent. I can't get this thing too loud at all. Have you uh, uh, hooked an external speaker to it to see? I if... did not. Um, that's probably the next step, yeah, right? See what happens, and if it's low at the external speaker, then you tell them they got a problem with their with, with their the machine. Laptop. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Just hook up a, an external speaker, and if the external speaker is okay, then there's just some weird setting that's not going right, or else they put crummy speakers in the in in, in the laptop. In the laptop. Okay. That's my advice. Thank you very much for it. All right, Pat. So we've got a shower or two and then nice weather. Oh, yeah. Not today. Just tomorrow. Some showers. Not today. Nice weather today. All right, Pat. We'll check with you manana. Adios. Take care. Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center with a check on our Tri-State forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.